we left off yesterday with a lot of lot left. With a lot of yeah. Um yeah, Gershom Uteras. Yeah, see it? It's about, it's, it's way up on top. It's like 10 wide lines down on, on Samach Dalit on the bees. Yeah, so Gershom Uteras, we said that if, if, if the woman gets divorced, she, she's allowed to go marry somebody else and she can marry another one too. Right? So, so the Gemara says, Shani in, she's allowed to marry a second husband. Again, she didn't have kids with her first husband. How many lines up? About 10 line, wide lines down. There's yeah. two dots there. Okay. All right, so Shani in, second one, yes, Shlishi light, but she's not allowed to marry a third husband. Because if she doesn't have husband, she doesn't have kids with the first two, so that means that she's just not going to have kids. How can she go marry a third? So Masnis and Mani, Rebbe, he, the mission is going according to Rebbe, the Tanya, Mala, Risha, Numeis. Because if the, they did a bris on the first son, and the first son died, Shani, Umeis, second son died, Shlishi, then you, like Tamil, Divrei Rebbe, Rebbe holds, you should not do a bris on the third, meaning two is enough. One, once there's two, there's not, uh, you don't do anything more than that because well, we're afraid what, that the third one's going to die. But what's, on what basis are we not doing? Because he's saying, he's going with chazakas are two. Chazaka. It doesn't have to be chazaka, it's a sakana. You don't need to do sakana, whichever. Chazaka, then I would chazaka. stop by, I would stop by the first one. So because I would the have first stopped. One could, yeah, I mean. That, no, you can't. I, I say, you know, sometimes people get sakana. sick. So that's my spiral. You can't learn what I'm saying. You can't learn Chazaka from this case. That's all. No, but two, two tells you it's abnormal. One, it happens. These things happen. Yeah. Right? Two is already too much. Rosh Hashanah has we're, three. We're in Allah, we base in two. That's what base, I'm asking. Because, because Rebbe holds a Chazaka's with two. Chazaka's two. three. Oh. What? Did no, you it's, say a more... it's a Machlaikis. He holds it's two. Mm hmm. He holds two is enough. Right. Um, Rabbi, if, uh, if, uh, if a shark is also yes. two? Yes. Yeah. That's what we're going to see later on. We'll see that uh, later on in the daf, which is really the beginning of tomorrow's daf. So that's Rebbe. Rebbe holds, it happens twice. That's it. You don't have to give the third son a brist. The third son you do, the fourth you don't. Oh, but Tanya, if uh, we learn the opposite, meaning so the, that the sheetahs are switched, so Gemara says, Hey, me now you after Nisa. Right, which go with the Brisa that came later, whichever one came later, that <coughs> that's the one that's more accurate. So Toshima, Dom Rafi, Barabam, Riachan, Misa, Barba, Chayas, Pitsi Pari. So this is a little bit of a different case. Before it was three siblings. Uh, or two, two or three, whichever it is. Here it's not. Here it's cousins. There were four sisters that were in Tzipari. Shemala Rishayin Omeis. The first one did a bris for her son and died. Shnia Omeis. The second sister did one and died. Shlishis Omeis. Revius, when it came time for the fourth sister, Paul Sifnir of Shemim Gamliel, Amrallah, ultimately do not give her a bris. Right? So, so you see that you shouldn't give a bris so the Rav Shimon Gamliel is the one that says that three can you can do fourth not. So when it says no, but me asya shlishis nami Maybe they didn't ask him by the third. Maybe they only got around to asking him by the fourth. But really, if they would have asked him for the third, he would have said no. Right. Um, so in Cain, my asaduce the Rav Barabbas, and what's Rav Barabbas saying? Right. There would be no chiddush. Right. He must be the reason he was saying something is to say the chiddush that. Shem Gamliel says it's up until the fourth. The Dil Mahakamashul and Achoyis Mechaskas. No, maybe he has a different Chiddush. That who says that there's a Chazaka based on sisters? It's one thing, siblings. So you could say genetically, right? But to say sisters, that's a, that's a little bit more of a stretch to say that each sister has some sort of genetic problem 
right, with uh, blood clots, which is usually why they die from uh, from Mila. Right, so maybe that's the Chiddush, right? Um, so Omar Rava, so Rava says, so if you're going to say that sisters are mechaskas, isa adam isha, then a woman should not marry a person of a family that have some sort of uh, they, that, what's it called? Our school touch is, is epilepsy. And not from a family that has tzaras. That's as long as there's three people that have these, these sicknesses. So if three people in the family have these sicknesses, then one should not marry into that family. Okay, so my havila. What's the bottom line is what is the what is the story? Right? So Kiyasa Rav Yitzhak Bar Yosef Omar Uv Dahava Kameda Rav Yachana Beknishta de Ma'in. There was a story by the Beis Knesset in Ma'in. The Yom Kippurim Shacholius Beshabbos. Yom Kippur fell on Shabbos. Umala Rishayna Umais. And the first one, they 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 were Mao once one cousin, right? And he died. Shnia. And mace, and then the second one also died. Shlishes ba lefnei lefanov. They came in front of Rav Yechonan. Amalei lechi yomuli. He said, "Go give them a, a mila," because he held that you need to have three that die in order to make the chazaka, not two. Yeah. So Amalei Abaya. So Abaya said, "Chazi the kasharis yisur of Right. See that what you do, what you did by allowing this baby. To have a, a Mila, the third baby, to have a Mila on Yom Kippur, not only are you being matter something that's usr, you're even putting the baby into a Sakana. <laughs> Why? Because if the kid should not be getting a bris, then you're being Machal Shabbos. Or Machal Yom Kippur. Or both. Right? So, meaning he's saying, first it's a Sakana. And even, even if you're going to say, and in and since it is a sakana, you're just going to end up being that there's a chil of Shabbos because you have no heter to do the meal on Shabbos, right? Fine. So so some chalei abaya. I don't Abayah, I don't understand that example. Yeah. Either or, it's like a double double sword. If they're not supposed to do the bris because it's a sakana, so then why are you heading in? It's the same thing. Machal Shabbos and putting somebody in a sakana. Um, it doesn't matter if it's Tuesday, it's the Sakana, it's just as usher to do the bris. Saying you're correct, adding in an extra right, Easter of Shabbos, correct? Exactly, that's what he's trying to say. Saying, what's because the difference? It's a no, he's saying because it's a Sakana, Mamela, it's usher to eat, it's you're being Machal Shabbos hmm. too. Because it's a Sakana, okay, you're being Machal so, Shabbos. So, what's the Chiddush? No Chiddush, well, he's trying to tell him you shouldn't have done the bris. That's what he's saying. Oh, okay, fine. He's, yeah, he's saying don't you shouldn't have done the bris. Yeah. So some abaya. So abaya was Saimach that Rabbi Yaichanan said that it needs to go three times. Right? Now this is I don't know, this is also this is a this is almost like the Chazanish story, Rabbi, that we were saying this morning, this Abaya story. Right? So some abaya. Abaya was was Saimach on um uh he was Simon who was who's who's uh what was it Rabhia it was Rabbi Yitzhak by Yosef's testimony that Rabbi Yochanan said that you can let the third kid have the bris on your kipper, right? Which means he held like Rashim Gamlil, who said that Chazak is three, you need to have three kids that die. So Abai was Simon Khan it was and he went and married this woman whose name was Chaima. Barta, the Isi Breda, Yitzhak Breda of Yehuda. She's the daughter of Isi Breda of Yitzhak Breda of Yehuda, the Naspa Rechava from Pumbadisa Veshachiv. She married Rechava from Pumbadisa and he died. Rav Yitzhak Breda Rabba Barachana Veshachiv. And then she married Rav Yitzhak Barachana and he died. The Naspa who? And an Abaya married her Veshachiv and he died. Right? Meaning he, so he was Saimach that you need to have three. To make the chazaka, and and Lamaisa, he ended up dying because he went with only he went. It seems like he went with the wrong opinion. Who said he? Uh, what? Who said he was wrong? Well, I mean, clearly. Well, he, 
Well, let's see the let's see the next Gemara. So yeah. No, this is she should live me well. This is Mrs. Spiegel. This is the case of Mrs. Spiegel when she had the chuba from Moshe. Right. Yeah. So I was wondering what was the pshat in that. What? What's me? What's saying. the pshat? The Moshe what? said it had nothing to do with her. Well, it's probably totally in how they died. That, that's well. Yeah, we'll see that in the next so, tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Jacko, yeah, we right. make a joke. We make a joke if that they, it just felt they, it was easier just to let it go that way. If all four of them died after they ate barley soup, then you'd be talking have a problem with her, but they didn't die that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. So let, let's Rabbi, see. Let's see. Don't, eat, don't eat the soup, Rabban. <laughs> what's that? If you need three, you need three. Yeah. You have to have three to, to make the chazaka. So one. But what's a machloikis? It was a machloikis. He was told that Rabbi Yochanan held three right. when I mean, it was inaccurate. Let's see. Let's see the Gemara back. So Amar Rav Umi Kada Avid Ov the Benavshiki Hai. Was there anybody that did something like this? With like Rashi says with Sakonis the Fashas. Pesi is asking, like, what was Abaya thinking? For Iu the Amar, he himself said. Avin the Samcha Avin, that was the name of Avin, right? Um, in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, um, you could be Samach on him. Yitzchok Sumka la Bar Samcha, but Yitzchok Sumka Sumka means red. He's not a Bar Samcha. That's Rabbi Yitzchok Bar Yosef. He's not a Bar Samcha, right? Avin, why? Because Avin Yesh never Chazora. Avin, so now there's two Pshatim and Rashi. What this means? So the Pasha Pshat is Avin Chazors everything from Rabbi Yochanan, so he knows. He knows exactly what Rabbi Yochanan said. And Yitzchak Sumcha ain't about Chazor. Yitzchak Sumcha does not have Chazor. Right? He doesn't Chazor. Right? Um, that's the first Pshan of Rashi. Um, the other one was that Chazor, I mean, he was always in front of Rabbi Yochanan. And if Rabbi Yochanan changed his mind, that's what Chazor means. The second Pshan is if Rabbi Yochanan changed his mind, he would know. Right? But the other, the other one, um, uh, Avin, what, uh, what was his name? Uh, Yitzchok Sumcha. He wouldn't know if Rabbi Yochanan changed his mind. Okay, so this is a bayit saying that about him, and then he believed him. Right, and no, not only that, Amor the Pligi, right? Maybe where does Rav Shimon Gamliel and Rebbe have a machloikis leaning Mila? Maybe they have a machloikis by Mila. Whether you need to have two kids that die or three kids that die, the Nesuin be Pligi. Do they dis? Do they disagree by Nesuin? There's no machloikis by Nesuin. Right, that maybe by Nisu, and they both say once she marries two husbands and they die, then that's it. Sigamara so says, in then they do, they do have a machlaikis by marriage too. Vatanya, because we learned that Abraham said, Nisus Larisha Namase, if the lady married one person and he died, Lashani Umes, the second one and he died, Lishlishi, like Tinasi, she shouldn't marry a third. The very Rebbe, that's what Rebbe, the same way he said it by Bris, he said it by marriage. Reb Chim Megam Lilai, Lishlishi Tinase. She could marry a third husband, the Ravi, like Tinase. So the fourth, she can't. So therefore, you see that they have the same achloik as by Mila or not. So that's not a reason why Abaya, Abaya, that's not a tain on Abaya, that there was a difference between Mila and marriage. The only tain on Abaya is why did he believe the source that he normally said is not accurate from Rabbi Yochanan? Okay, the Gemara leaves off with the Kasha. So Bishlam Gabi Mila, Ika Mishpacha the Rafi Dhamma. So it's good by Mila because there's the a family could have literally means it's soft blood, which means Lakhara doesn't how do you call what's the word? Coagulate. It doesn't uh hemophilia. It doesn't drop. Yeah, hemophilia, hemophilia, right. Thank you. So it could be that it's genetic that way. Vika Mishpacha, the Kamat Dhamma, then you have a family who has thick blood, Elinisu and my timer. Why would a woman being married to somebody cause him death? Right? What could be? Meaning, again, by Mila, you could say genetically they have a, they have a problem genetically with blood clotting, right? Hemophilia. But what what could be the problem with a lady being married to a to a man? So I'm going her Mayan, which literally means water, like a a, a, a spring, can cause it. Meaning somehow she has some sort of, um, I, 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 does it sound like an STD? Which is a sexually transmitted transmitted disease, right? Meaning there's something wrong with her. No, that's what it's saying. I don't know, parrots. I don't know, why are you laughing, parrots? I'm saying that's what it is. 
I never knew what it stood for. Oh, okay. Basketball team. Okay, there you go. Well, now you learn something new every day. Okay, so anyways. Like the oil that you change in your car, you know, STD oil. <laughs> there, okay. <laughs> but anyway. Parents, so. if you have enough money, you could name this stadium, STD Stadium. <laughs> Okay, but anyway, so so we're saying that the Mayan is good. All right, you can join us in the gonorrhea club, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Do you clap her for a good fight? <laughs> very good, oh, dear Avi. Very good, Avi. <laughs> okay, anyways, and we go right to it. Yeah, I just want to yeah, point out we haven't started have the DAF yet. Say. Parents like to say, I want to point out we haven't started the DAF yet. That's right. Who is that? Okay, thank there, you very buddy? much for that uh, uh, public service <laughs> announcement. I, I, I'm just stepping in for parents. Apparently, we have parents. Parents. not able to step up parents today. Right. Everybody has something to say about this topic. It's very like. Yeah. Parents is there with Abba, if you noticed. He, he's trying to recruit Abba for the DAF. He figured this is the way we're going to get him. Oh, yeah. If he missed the best yeah, is in maybe yeah, STD. Exactly. Abba just told me he's warming up. He's warming up to it. <laughs> yeah, the STDs are really going to rope him in. That, that yeah. Was, yeah. Exactly. This is not even the most graphic part of the DAF yet. But okay. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> we'll keep him going till the end of the DAF. Anyways, so so we're saying Mayan garden. There's some sort of infection that she has that when she's together with the husband, they catch it. Which, by the way, I think we've discussed it. But sometimes, um, Nebuch, somebody undergoing chemotherapy, depending on which type of chemotherapy, they are not allowed to have, they're not allowed to, bodily fluids, it can, the chemotherapy can go in so that the doctors do not allow intercourse. And also, if a doctor gets poked with an HIV needle by mistake, they also put them under heavy, heavy, him, her, under heavy, heavy um, medications that they cannot have relations. Those are some of the times where the only way to have relations with a condom, right? So the khair, if they use the condom, according to him, you'd be able to get married to a four. I'm saying, I don't, obviously, I don't think there's going to be a, a hetter for it. But the khair, according to this, if they'd use a condom, then it would be, it'd be no problem to, to, to marry a fourth husband. Yeah. But of Ashi, Omar, mazel garam, it's the luck, right? It's her mazel. Right? Her muscles causing them to die. My benai, what's the difference? Ike benayu, the irsa, who missed if they got engaged and he died. Right? Because if they got engaged, so there was never any intimacy and he died, so it must be it's her bad luck. Inami, or the nafom mituklo miss, or maybe if the husband fell off a tree and died, so that clearly has nothing to do with them being intimate. It's just it's just the muzzle. So that would be the difference between them. Well, I guess that's what you're saying was the heter to get married a fourth time. You figure out that the death happens from a car accident or whatever it is, then, then that's not, maybe it's a mazel, but it's not necessarily from, from her. Okay, whatever it is. Um, the only day for we passed in like the first one? If, what? I don't know how we passed it. I, forgot, I meant to look it up. I totally forgot. Hold on. Uh, let me look it up now. I can, whatever. Uh, we didn't start the daf yet, so. What were you saying, Elio? Was that you saying something? No, nothing intelligent. I said if she only dates lumberjacks. Oh, yeah, yeah right? Um, uh, yeah, okay, I totally forgot to look up how we pass, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, anyways, um, let's see, Vaiter. So, Amalie Rav Yosef prayed to Rav Rav. So, Rav Yosef, the son of Rav, said to Rav, Bami name Rav Yosef. Did I? Yeah. Halakha Karebi. Is halacha like Rebbe? V'amra li, ain halacha k'Rebbe. In, I'm sorry. Yes, the halacha is like Rebbe. Halacha k'Rebbe Shimon Gamliel, v'amra li, in. And he said, he said yes, right? Sounds like a typical interaction between a, a, a father and a son or a Rebbe. Yes, halacha like him? Yes, halacha like him? Yes. Okay, so which one is it? So he said to him, achuche achubi, you're laughing at me? What, you, what is this? You, you, I asked you one way and you said yes. You had said another way, you said yes. So I'm lay, I'm lay lo, he said no. Stami he upashilah. There are stam mishnayis, and and therefore, since there were stam mishnayis, you had to paskin. Sometimes we're paskining like like Rebbe, and sometimes we're paskining like Shimon Gamliel. How nesuin or malkius karebi by marriage and malkus is like Rebbe. Vestas v'sharamuid and by woman's cycles and sharamuid is like Shimon Gamliel. What does this mean? Nesuin hot hamaron. Nesuin like we said. 
So we're going to paskin that um, if, you, if you say you're passing like Rebbe, which means after two husbands, she's not allowed to get married to anybody else. Right? Uh, Malchus and and but Malchus, the Tanan Misha Lok of Ashana, somebody who got Malchus and then got Malchus again, which is what we which is what we were discussing by uh, in Orchus Sadikim, right? You give somebody a Russian Malchus until he either does chuva or until he dies, right? So Misha Lok of Ashana, somebody who got Malchus twice, then that's then he's a, he's already considered like somebody who's who's so far gone, so. Um, better to put him out of his misery. So what do you do? Bezdin kinds and nice the keeper. Bezdin puts him into a uh, into a uh, jail. Umachili nice is and they give him barley. Achete kreis and nifkas until his stomach blows up. Right. So that's what. Uh, so meaning it's only after two times of getting Malchus. According to Shimon Gamliel, it would have to be three times before you do this to him. But this so this price uh, is going like a uh, Rebbe. Vestus, what about Vestus? That cycles the Tnan Ain Ha'isha. Now we start today's daf. Ain Ha'isha Kavas La Vest Achetikven Shalish Pa'amim. A woman does not kavei a vest, meaning when a woman has to separate on specific days when she's expecting the period. So it's if she if she sees on the same exact date of month. Let's say uh, tonight is what Yudalif. So she sees. Yud Aleph, Yud Aleph, Yud Aleph, three months in a row, she has a chazaka. Right? So, that's so we're going like Rosh Hashim and Gamliel. Vein meta, vein in a vest, and she doesn't uproot the vest until she uproots it three times, meaning she's going to have to keep Yud Aleph, Yud Aleph, Yud Aleph until she goes three months in a row with seeing, let's say, Yud Beis and Tess and then Yud Gimel, just using an example. So that's one. The Sharam Mu'ud. What's a Sharam Mu'ud? The tran, meaning a shara muud, is a type of shara that is considered a damaging shara, right? And then after three times, it becomes, it be, gets the status of shara muud, and it then the fine, and that no, well, not the fines, but it has to pay a lot more. Stama shara that gores it has to pay half damages, but if it's a shara muud, it has to pay the full damages. So how do you come shara muud? Three times. Until they say edus on it three times, that it's that it uh, gored. So there, those two were going like Shimon Gamliel. So therefore, he wasn't pulling his leg when he said sometimes you pass like Rebbe, sometimes you pass like Shimon Gamliel. There are stam mishnayis, right? There's two mish, two stam mishnas that seem to be like Rebbe that two times is a chazaka, and then there's stam mishnayis that seem to be like Shimon Gamliel that it's three times is a chazaka. Is there a okay. shot why we go back and forth when it comes to this? I I'm not sure. Right, I'm not sure. Yeah, why should it? Why should we? I mean, there's. Yeah, I don't have any. I don't have any direct shot. I mean, there's lambdas, and you could say that they're different. They're different chashashas, right? But uh, yeah. Okay, so Tana Rabbanu. This is Larishan. She got married to to a first husband, and she didn't have kids. Lashani. She got married to a second kid and she didn't have kids. The Shlishi, Then she's not allowed to marry a third husband. Unless the man already has kids, and then, then of course she can get married to him because it doesn't make a difference to him whether he has whether he has kids, because he already was Makayim his mitzvah. Nisus Lemisha ain't Lebanim. And if she did get married to somebody who doesn't have kids, then she gets. She got, gets divorced without a ksuba. Right? This is very interesting. Why is it not a mecha toys? Oh, very good. So that's toysis. Very good. Exactly. Exactly, Akiva. Meaning, what's going on here? She got she married two husbands and didn't have kids. She's not supposed to get married a third time. Right? If she did, she ripped them off. Right? So if, if she rips them off, then, she, then they get divorced without, without they don't need to get. The Kedushin was not a Kedushin. Right? You mevatel a Kedushin with a Mekach Tois. That's what uh, Reb David Greenblatt by the Hesper was referring to that whole thing with him not a few years ago where he abolished somebody's marriage. He did, because he said that the guy was a Meshugana and the whole marriage was a Mekach Tois and therefore she doesn't need to get it. He wasn't giving a get and he got a lot of flack for it, Reb Nata. He got a lot, a lot of flack for it. So... Well, didn't that, a, didn't that create a huge backlash from Eretz Israel as well? 
I, I, yes, yeah, so it made a back, big backlash everywhere. But I think our Mr. Sternberg wrote a thing on it. Yeah, yeah, there were, yeah, there was, it was very controversial. But, sure but the point is, that's what he did. And so that's what, that's what he was asking. This lady got married to this guy. This guy thinks he's having kids. She knows she can't have kids. So what do you need? What do you need to get for? We understand no ksuba, okay? No ksuba, because she shouldn't. They shouldn't have been married in the first place. What do you need to get? So, so first of all. So now why, for, and another thing is if he knew, if he knew about it, then there should be a ksuba. And if he didn't know about it, then there shouldn't even be a get. Right? So, so, so Taisa says it's somewhere where he did not know about it. Right? So say, okay, so if he didn't know about it, then why is there, why, why don't they just make it, uh, make Mavato um, the marriage? The problem is, is because what happens if they do have a kid? Right, um, meaning they don't know for sure. Nobody knows definitively that she is barren. She just married. You know, she doesn't have a diagnosis. That's the point. She doesn't. She does not have a diagnosis. So since she doesn't have a diagnosis, you cannot say that it's a, a definite mekartos. Right. So okay. So that's that's what it's saying. Fine. So this, this answer, is even if he knows about it. Okay, table like no, Suba? it sounds, sounds like from Tyson that if he knows about it, um, then then no, then he agreed to it. No, if he knows about it, then he agreed. Now, what was the head of him to marry her? That's a different story. It could be just I don't know, I don't know. Fine. So Ibai Lud asked the Shiloh, yeah. Nisus Lashlishi, let's say she got married to, to a, a, a third man. And she didn't have kids. Right? Now, why can the first two husbands say, hey, look, she married a third guy. She didn't have kids with him. That means that she couldn't have kids. So therefore, we want our ksuba back. Meaning she got married to one guy. After 10 years, he divorced her like he's supposed to. She got married to a second guy. He divorced her like he's supposed to, but they both paid the ksuba. She's not supposed to get married to a third guy, but she did, and she didn't have kids. And now they're saying back, the whole thing was was a not a good marriage. Why am I giving her the ksuba? They want the ksuba money back. Chazaki can be mighty make available, right? I guess. That the way she's she's decide, being most like in the money. How did the Chazaki be mighty from her right, right, so that's that. So good, very good. So that's that's all part of Shiloh. So let, let, but let's see how the Gemara says it. Me, Matsu, this is a Shiloh. Can they say to her, You were the one, it's Iglai Milsa, by you marrying a third and having him, that you were the problem. Right? And therefore you get back the, you get back. I Dilma, no, Matsus Amrullah, she could say to them, Hashtahu the Kashi. By you two guys, I was healthy, it was your issue. But now I'm already older, so that's why I didn't have kids. Right? Meaning, this is basically like you're saying, Akiva. That there's no way to prove anything here. There's no, there's no diagnosis. There's no way to prove. She could say, "Yeah, by you, by the first two husbands, it was you." Now it's now I'm already older. So the Gemara answers, "Mistavra, Matzis Amra Loi Mistavra." She could say, which is also it's interesting. Mistavra sounds like a yeshiva guy in a coffee room. The Gemara, right? Mistavra, you know, right? That the Gemara usually gives a a, a solid answer. Here it's saying, "You know, Mistama, Matzis Amra Loi." She could say to him, "Hashdehu the Kashi." Now is the but the Gemara doesn't sound like it's it's saying that with a lot of confidence. Fine, that's that's question number one. Question number two. That's right. That's right. Yeah, he bailed. I had a shilu. This is Yeah, she got married to a to a husband number four. and they had kids. Mao the tavai l'shlishi. So now can she go? And get the money from the third husband and say, hey, you owe me the super money because you see clearly I could have kids. Again, remember the Shiloh was that uh, she got married to two husbands and then she got married to a third. He divorces her without giving her ksuba. Right? Fine. But then she went and got married to a fourth and had a kid. So now she goes back to the third husband and say, hey, there was nothing wrong with me. Give me my ksuba. Right? So the Gemara answers, no, I'm reading Allah. Shtikuse, be quiet. We offer me the burich. It's better than your your being quiet is going to be better than your speaking. Why? The matzi amrla, because then the husband number husband number three could tell her, "I know I died to the hachi like your I didn't divorce you, thinking that you'd be able to have kids. Meaning, I would not have divorced you had I known you could have had a kid. 
It's not how Gerishin and, works, though. Uh, so from here, clearly, it seems like, like yeah, the Gerishin was some sort of Tanai. It, it needs to be a Cree. You can't make a Tanai to Gerishin. You need Kreesus. I don't know. From this Gemara, it says, yeah. First of uh, all, you didn't make it tonight. Second of all, you can't, that's not how Gerishin works. Either you're Megarish or you're not. You can't have a, a okay, okay, said, you can't have a Tanai in a Gerishin. Well, it's not a Tanai. It doesn't seem like it's a Tanai. He just said, I would never have divorced you. But you did. Good. But the Gemara is saying, see, I don't know if the Gemara means this with definitively, or, he's, or they're saying to her, don't say this because you're risking that if for whatever reason the get was no good, then your kids are mamzerim. What? Why would the get be not good? Either it's good or it's not good. No, so that's obviously the Gemara is saying that that there's a possibility that he would not have meant to give the get, whatever that does, means. Does I don't he know have to divorce her? Does he have to divorce her? Yes, he he's supposed to. to go on to another. Yes, that was the last. I, I understand. So we forced him to. But Lamai say he, he divorced her. That's what we forced him to do. But it's not like it's not like Mermavatal. It he he divorced her. That's what he had to do. Yeah. You could have regrets later, but you made a divorce. It's a legitimate divorce. Um, you probably go into the Ramam. The Kaif and I say, I'll show you my rights, honey. But this would I'm, never I'm be saying right, even less than that. Even the Kfiyas, is, is, right. This is even more than that. But, but even the Kfiyas of Besden would be a mistake right. here. So it's, there's no rights, honey. If there's no rights, honey, then it, no it's right Taka, a bad get. Then he Doesn't shouldn't matter. Matter. We really have to wait till Gittin for this because this is a, obviously a major Gittin thing. But whatever it is, the way I'm understanding it is that don't be so confident to try and get yourself some money because there is a possibility that if your get was not a good get, you're dealing with kids who are mamzerim. So just keep quiet and just let bygones be bygones. That, that's that's why I understand it. All right? So Maskala Rapapa, ee Shaska, if she's quiet... So what? Anan Misha Skinan? Just because she doesn't have the taina, does that mean that we have to be quiet? I mean, we're supposed to be quiet? We Meaning if we think that the get's no good, we have to tell her. All right? Just don't say, oh, you don't say, but by the way, I mean, if halachically it's a problem, it's a problem regardless of whether she says something. Nimtza, get bottle. Right? Meaning if the get is bottle, or now mamzerin, or kids are mamzerin, whether she says it or not. Right, so Ella Amrina, so we say Hashtahu the Briyasa. No, so what the reason is the reason why she can't tie it back for a ksuba is because we're going to say that she had a miracle, she got healthy, she got healthy right then and there. So, therefore, she was when she got divorced, she wasn't able to get the ksuba, but now she got she had a miraculous recovery, and with her fourth husband, she was able to have kids. Okay, so therefore, she can't get back a ksuba. Fine. Now, who am I? Now, they, now we're going to get to, to this, the next Gemara's. We're getting into, they're having disagreements where he says that she was the issue and she says he was the issue. All right, so who am I? He says she has the issue. He am I? And she says it's coming from him. So, Amr of Ami, Dvarm Shebena Lebeno Nemenis, of anything that goes between him and her, she is believed. The time am I? What's the reason? He kaimala beyara kachet. She knows. If the zera comes out shooting like an arrow, because it's the zera is going into her, right? So if the zera goes into her, she can feel whether his zera is healthy. Rashi says, shikh zera that doesn't go out, like doesn't go shooting out, is considered not healthy zera and it won't impregnate. So she knows. So Mamela, she's trusted. Who, like Kim Leibiyar Gechetz, but he doesn't know if it, it just comes out of him. So he doesn't know exactly how. What is well, like Bari Vishama? It does what it sounds like. It sounds, but it sounds. It sounds like she is considered an automatic uh, a bari. Yeah. So we're going to go with. You're the, being mighty still. Huh? You're being a mighty. I don't know if that's the. It can't just be that. Um. At the end yeah, of the day, she's being tevia. I'm keep on disappointed. I thought you'd ask a different kasha. She has them. She has negias. Uh, bari v'shem is you have negias also. Okay, I am, yeah, but a I'm saying, you but, win with Tainas. If, if you say Bari Vishama, Bari Alda, if you win with a Taina, everyone's no, the game of when it comes to Bari Vishama. No, that's true. That's true, but that's where... I'm asking off that. Okay, okay, it's true, but the, the more simple kasha to be asked, just for the island, is like, how do you trust her? She wants to get her ksuba money, so of course she's, she's going to say that her husband, Zera, doesn't work. Right? Why are we trusting her? Okay, whatever it is. So Omar, Iyu, 
Hazel Inziv Itza, if he says, I'm going to go marry another woman, the Ivdag Nafshay, and I'll see for myself whether I, whether I could have kids. Summer of Ami, Afpazu, Yaitiv Yitin Ksuba, even in that situation, he, he has to divorce her and give her to Ksuba. Shani Aymer, because I hold Kola Noisi Ishal Ishtay, any man that marries a woman on his wife, meaning according to him, which obviously we don't pass him like, if a man goes and marries an additional woman, he has to, he says to first divorce his first wife, Yaitzi be eating the ksuba, and he has to give the ksuba. So that won't work, according to Ravami. Rava Amar, Rava says, A man can marry as many women as he wants. That's as long as he has the money to feed them on Talmud Beis now. So therefore, um, that's a machlaikis, whether he's allowed, the husband's allowed to say, I'm going to go marry somebody else and see if I have kids. If I have kids, then she doesn't get the ksuba. If he doesn't have kids, then uh, then uh, then maybe she will get the ksuba. Fine. Then another case. Who Omar, he says, remember, remember, we said that with the 10 years, the Mishnah said that you wait 10 years, but if she had a miscarriage, you wait 10 years from the miscarriage. Right? So who Omar... I felt the guy, the guy, yes, sir. You had a miscarriage within the 10 years. See, now we're switching here. They don't want to get divorced, right? Or at least he doesn't want to get divorced. He says, You had a miscarriage within the 10 years, therefore, I don't have to divorce you yet. And she says, No, I didn't. I didn't have a miscarriage, and therefore, divorce me, right? Meaning, she said, So basically, what she's saying, I did not have a miscarriage, and I'm barren. That's what she's saying. So, so who do we believe? Even in this case, she's believed. Why? Because if it would be that she miscarried, she's not going to try and make herself that she's, she's barren. She would much rather know that she at least got pregnant once and had a miscarriage, uh, which is hard to understand because what do you mean? So, I mean, at the end of the day, she didn't have a kid. She didn't have a kid. Uh, she can't have kids. She can't have kids. What's the difference? But it seems like she would rather know that she at least had the ability to get pregnant once and have a miscarriage as opposed to not having the ability ever to have gotten pregnant. Okay, Hippila, let's say she had a miscarriage, and she had another miscarriage, and then another miscarriage, so three times, so this is Mashmah like Roshim and Gamliel. Puchzakal in the following, she has a chazaka that she, every time she gets pregnant, she's going to miscarry, and therefore he has to divorce her in order for him to try and find a way to have kids. Right, so who am I? I feel it. I feel it, Trey. So he says to her, "You only had a miscarriage twice because he doesn't want to get divorced." He Amra Tlas, and she says, "No, I had three times. You have to divorce me." So who do we believe? Amar Yitzchak ben Elazar Uvda Hava be Midrasha. There was a story like this in the Beis Medrash. Va'amr Va'amru he Mehemna. We say that she's believed Dim Isa the Loi Afla because it would be that she didn't have a miscarriage the third time. Nafsha benifli Loi Mechazka. She does not want to make herself be considered somebody who has miscarriages. Right? Nobody's going to want to have that chazaka. So if she's saying that she has it, must be she's saying it, she's saying the truth. Okay. So that's the end of that sugya. So now we finally get to the machlaikis. Of Maybe she our, wants to get divorced. You're saying even if we don't assume that she wants to get divorced because it's so right, not, negative not, for her. Correct. That's too much. That's too much. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that now we finally get to the Mishnah that's a machloikis of of whether women are chayiv and purable. So it's up the Mishnah. Ha'ish mitzuva periyurivi. A man is chayiv to have kids, which we already said. A few blot ago, but the machloekz v'sham v'esil, how many kids you have to have? Avaloi ha'isha, a woman is not chayiv. If you have a bright oimer al shneim who oimer on both of them, it says, meaning on both the man and the woman. By yivarech ha'isam elikim, Hashem bench them. By yomer lehem elikim pru revu. So if you have a bright is saying the women are chayiv in pru revu. Okay, so mino animili. How do we know that they're not chayiv in pru revu? Amar Rabbi Lai, Mishum Rabbi Lai, Zeb Rabbi Shimon, Amar Kra, Umalo, Umilo, and Saaretz Vikivshua. They filled up the land and they conquered it. Ish Tarkei Luch, meaning what's the point of having kids to fill up the land? So Ish Tarkei Luchavish, a man, his derech is to conquer. Vein Ish Tarkei Luchavish, and it's not the derech of a woman to conquer, right? They don't go out to war, so therefore, only men are chayev. 
Adarabah, so the Gemara asks, it's Vaker, the Kavshua Tarti Mashma, the word Kivshua is Mashma too. They both have to conquer, so it's Mashma male and female. Or Nachum Rayitzchok, the Kavshua Ksiv. No, it doesn't say, it's written, it's written, um, Chosar. It's written without that extra Vav, so therefore we're going to dash in the way it's written, and therefore it's a Lash and Yachid, and only one has to conquer. Well, what, what is that Kasha? The Kivshua is not going on Adam and Chava, it's going on the kids. Um, kids is plural. No, you're right, but he's saying man, who is it? But man, man and man and woman, that's the way he's darshaning it. But it's not. Okay, but that's that's what drushes do. Right? Drushes, that's the way drushes work. The, the kasha is from the, the mashma sakro. And the answer is it's the answer is that it's chazervav. The mashma right. sakro is not Zakhar and Akeva. Well, right. Mashma sakro is just they. Correct. But he's learning it that what does they mean? Males and females. In the kasha? Yeah. So I answer know. it doesn't. Why do you need a drasha to get around that? Because obviously they thought that maybe it does. I, what should I tell you? I don't know. I told you my rule with drasha. It's my rule. My father's rule. I don't know. What should I tell you? Right? Okay. Rabbi Yosef, I'm a Ani, Ani, Kel Shakai. Pray or obey. I'm Hashem, and be fruitful and multiply. The like pruravu. It doesn't say pruravu in in Lush and Rabin. It's a Lush and Yachid. So therefore, it goes with the male. Fine. Now we have a few other my my marim from Rabbi Loi. I'm Rabbi Loi. Mishum Rabbi Loza Rabbi Shimon. Kishem Shem Mitzvah Adam Loi Merdavra Nishma. This is an important thing. The same way, it's a mitzvah on a person to say Musar to somebody if he's going to listen. It's also a mitzvah to keep your mouth shut. Right? Just like it's a mitzvah to open your mouth and give musr, sometimes it's a mitzvah for you to keep your mouth closed and don't say anything. Right? Yeah, but didn't the person you say that nowadays we can't really give musr? Correct. Correct. But that was a different reason than this. But yeah. But uh, it can still be a kind of the mitzvah. I guess. I guess. <laughs> right? But anyway, so but here we're saying that sometimes there's a mitzvah not to say anything if they're not going to listen to you. Rabbi Aimer Chayva, right? Um, you meaning you have to, it's a chiv. It's not like, a, uh, what was the one? It's a mitzvah, right? Because Rabbi, Rabbi Lazar said it's a mitzvah to keep your mouth closed. No, Rabbi Abba says it's a chiv. Shenemar, don't, don't give musr to a letz. He's going to hate you. Right, if you give Musa to a Chacham, then he's going to love you. So you got to know who you're giving your Musa to. Yeah, just got the, the last one of the law is Mishun Rabbi Lazar Rabbi Shimon. It's Rabbi Shimon who said he darshaned all the S's and Shabbatayra and then he took right. them back and then he got them. He told his Talmidim that shame that I received Scar for learning them, so I received Scar for taking it back. It's the same idea as this Rabbi Lazar Rabbi Shimon, oh, I thought... his father. I thought you were going to say something else. Rabbi Lazar Rabbi Shimon, he's the one that came out of the cave and started burning people up, right? Yeah. Right, there's a Rabbi Lazar Rabbi Shimon. Rabbi Lazar Rabbi Shimon. So now, this is after he learned his lesson, I guess. Are you going to say, can we say that? That's the oh, lesson he good. learned. That's very good. Yeah. He's saying, don't give Musa where they're not going to listen. He came out, right, that's where he came out of the cave. Right, he came out of the cave and he was burning up people, so he went back in. So that's what he's saying. I get very good, Gershon. Okay. Fine. Everybody, this is everybody's favorite tomorrow. Right? A person is allowed to lie in order to keep the peace. Shanemar Avicha Tziva. Right? Because what happened? Yosef's, right? The, the, when Yosef was Nifter, so, I'm sorry, when Yaakov was Nifter, Yosef, they, they lied to Yosef and they made up a story what Yaakov told him to do after he was nifter, because they were afraid that once Yaakov was nifter, Yosef was going to take Nekama on the Shvatim. So they made up a story, and they, but they did it to keep the peace, which was, but then wasn't true. Kai Samrali Yosef, this is also from that Maisa. Rabbi Lazar wanted what? to stay out. Rabbi Lazar wanted to burn the world. He said, that's the Amos. Right. This is, sometimes you have to lie to keep the world alive. Yeah, yeah. That's Shimon had to force him to go back in. Mm -hmm. Right, 
So anyway, so you see here that the Shvatim, somebody wanted to say something? Rabbi, you want to say something? No, no, God, uh, the head, yeah. head's different because head has never even existed. Head's it's different. Uh, you, I mean, here you're, it's, you're, it's, you're embellishing head just a totally made I mean, up. Here you story. just totally made it up. I hear. Yeah. Here you totally made it up. Very good. From Nasan, I'm a mitzvah. No, it's a mitzvah. Shenemar, by Yomar Shmuel. See, it's interesting because here he's saying it's mutter to lie. Doesn't say you have to lie. It's mutter to lie. If you don't want to lie and not keep the peace, you're entitled to. Right? And Rav Nassim saying, no, it's a mitzvah to lie. This is when Shmuel was going to anoint uh, David and it was going to make a big stress. So he said, just tell them you're going to be Mark of Karbonus. Shalom is so important that even a Kaddish Baruch Hu changed the story. The Meikor Exiv by Avram and Sarah, it says, when Sarah was told she's going to have a kid, so she said, my husband is old. And when Hashem was saying it over to Avram, that he changed the story that Sarah said about herself, I'm old. So you can learn a lot of things out of this, right? That Hashem lied because Avram was going to get offended that his wife said he's old, right? That's another, another scenario where we're trying to bring these gedolim, lahavda, whatever, not lahavda, but to say that they're human. So what do you mean? Avram is going to be offended that he was 100 years old and his wife called him an old man, right? But yeah, so clearly that was a, that was a possibility. And Hashem changed the words to say that she never said it, right? Okay. You have to say that Avram would have been offended or it's to teach us this lesson. I, I, I'm not sure which way you're going to go with it, but the, yeah. 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 But uh, and then I was thinking when I when I was learning this Gemara today, I was saying, Hashem Yevarech is Amoy Vashalom, right? Hashem has to give a bracha for Shalom, meaning Shalom is so difficult to attain. You need a bracha from Hashem to get to, to keep the peace, right? So I'm saying you got to lie. It's important. You, need a, you even need a bracha. Okay. Fine. Rabbi Yochanan Mebrekah says that they are chayev. Women are chayev in Pruruhu. Itma Rabbi Yochanan Rabbi Shuv and Levi. Chad Amar Halacha Rabbi Yochanan Mebrekah. One said that Allah is like Rabbi Yochanan Mebrekah that women are chayev to have kids. Chad Amar Ein Halacha Rabbi Yochanan Mebrekah. One said Allah is not like him. It is time that Rabbi Yochanan who Amar Ein Halacha. Let's prove that Rabbi Yochanan is the one that said the Halacha is not like Rabbi Yochanan Mebrekah. The Yosef Rabbi Bo Vakamrash made Rabbi Yochanan Halacha. That he said that the halacha is like Rav Yochanan and Ben Breika. Vadrinu Rav Ami Ravasi Lapayu and Rav Ami Ravasi turned their faces away from him, showing that they did not agree that that that's what Rav Yochanan had said. Vikad Amri Rav Chia Bar Abba Amar was that Rav Chia Bar Abba that said it. Vadrinu Rav Ami Ravasi Lapayu and Rav Ami Ravasi turned their faces away. So there's two versions of who said what. Zamar Papa. So it's good according to Mandarin that says Rabbavo who said it. Because of the covet of Caesar's house, they didn't say anything to him. Meaning, because Rabbavo used to uh, used to was very close to the kings, right? So since he was close to the kings, so if they're gonna go rank on him for saying something wrong, that wouldn't be covered. So that's why they just turned away. But according to Mandama, it says Rabbi Yehuda Rav is the one that quoted Rabbi Yochanan by saying that the Allah is like Rabbi Yochanan ben Brayka. Leim Rulei, Leim Rulei. Why don't we say to him? Um, um, why don't we say to him? Uh, oh, I just lost the place. Leim Rulei, Leim Rulei. Why not to him? Loy Amar Rabbi Yochanan Achi. Rabbi Yochanan didn't say it. I mean, why do they have to turn their heads away? Why couldn't they just say it? it's not true? Rabbi Yochanan didn't say it. Okay. So those are the two versions. The bottom line is my havi Allah. What is the din? So Tashima, Damar of Acha Bar Khanina, Amar Rabo, Amar Ravasi, Ubda Hava Kamidra Yachana Biknishta de Kesari. There was a story in a shul in Kesari, Vamar Yaitsi, Vitink Suba. And meaning, what was the story that they came and whether she wanted a she wanted a divorce? So he said the husband um, can divorce her. And he has to give her the ksuba. Now, why is she getting the ksuba? Visak died the life mifkada. And if you think that she's not chayiv and pruravu, ksuba maya vidita, what does the ksuba have to do with anything here? Meaning, meaning, if she wasn't chayiv to have kids, then what's her why why should she get divorced? Meaning, a woman 
can only get divorced if she has a good reason. If she does not have a good reason, then she could get divorced, but she's not going to get her ksuva. So if she was high and pruravu, so she has a good reason to get divorced, so therefore she can get her ksuba. But if she's not high and pruravu, then she has no reason to get divorced, and therefore she should not get her ksuba. So it's mashma that he was that he, that he had to give the ksuba is mashma that she is um, um, that she is chayiv in pruravu, right? Um, yeah. So that's what the Gemara says. Then the Gemara asks, no, Dilma, but machmas taina. Maybe she had a different taina, and that's why she should get the ksuba. Why? Kiaitas, meaning. Really, she's, she gets the ksuba not because she has to go get married to somebody else to have kids, but maybe she had a different time. She came in front of, there was a woman that came in front of Rami. She said to Rami, have the ksuba. She said, give me, give me my ksuba, right? Meaning divorce me and give me the ksuba because you can't have kids. He said, leave, go. Why? Because you're not chayiv and pruravu, so you have no reason to get divorced. Meaning a man would have to divorce his wife because he has a chiv to have kids. A woman has no reason to divorce her husband. She doesn't have a chiv to have kids. So why should she get divorced? Amalei. So she said to him, Masibu dila, Allah itza. Right? What's going to be with the sibu? I mean, this older woman, um, that what's she going to be with her when she gets old? She's going to have nobody to take, she's going to have nobody to take care of her. She's only a third person, right? You're not, who's going to take care of me? Good, I'm not, she's, he's saying, she's saying, good, I'm not chayiv to get divorced out having the midst of having kid. But I want to have kids so that I can have somebody take care of me when I'm old. So Omar, when he heard this, Rav Ami, Kiha, and then for her, we're going to, we're going to force the husband to give the ksuba because that's a good reason to get divorced. Even though it's not a halachic reason for her to get divorced, but it's a practical reason for her to get divorced. So therefore she's entitled. A similar story. When a woman came in front of Rabbi Nachman, Amr Allah, he said to her, You're not, you're not, he, she wanted to get divorced, same story. And he said, You're not Chayib and Pruravu. Amr Allah, she said to him, Does this woman not have, need to have a, a cane for her hand, Umar Lakvora, and a shovel to her to be buried? Meaning, who's going to bury me? So I want to have kids for that, even though I'm not Chayib. Amr, Kiha, Badai Kafinon. So he said, like this, somebody, that's for sure, um, that's enough reason for her to get divorced, and therefore we're going to force her to, to force the husband to give the ksuva. I just, there's a, a story that would happen with Rabbi Yashiv, it's a wild story that happened with Rabbi Yashiv, and it's a, it's a, it's a story that's vada true. There was an old lady that lived across from Rabbi Yashiv, who either she never got married or never had kids. And she used to hang up at her, the Yashivs, and she was very sad that she's not going to have anybody named after her. So one of the one of Rebel Yashiv, Rebel Yashiv had a baby, and he named her when she was alive. He named his daughter after this lady, so she will have chizik for the rest of her life that she's going that she has a name after her. Uh, and so it's why I, mean, I forgot which daughter, but it's it's I mean it's wild for many reasons. Naming after somebody alive. Naming after somebody who clearly had bad mazel, and they asked Rabbi Yashi, he says, to do a chesed with a, with a woman is, is, is more important than all these zachim, right? Pretty, pretty wild story. Anyways, okay, on to the next wild story. Yehuda and Chizkiah You could do twin. a chesed even if you wear a watch, you see that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So Yehuda and Chizkiah Tumim Hayu. Yehuda and Chizkiah were twins. Echad Nigmar Tzurasa L'Sai Tisha. One was um, finished, meaning he grew to full term. And one was at the seventh month of pregnancy. Now, what happened? Yehudis, the visu de Yehudis, the wife of Rebchia. Now, if you remember from the previous Gemara from two blot ago, Rebchia did not have an easy time with his wife, right? Which you will see. So she had a lot of tsar leda. Um, Shanai Mona, and so what she did, meaning after she had these twins, she changed her clothing, and she came in front of Rabkhia, her husband, meaning, and he couldn't tell who it was because she she was under she was disguised. Amra, she said, It's a Mafkoda Apiriv Yuriva is a woman chayev in Pruravu. Amr Allah, Loi, he said to her, No, she's not. Azla, so she went, 
Ishti Asama Dakarta, so she went and she had the uh, the Sama, the 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 medication that will make her be sterile like this. She knows that she's not going to be um, pregnant anymore. Right? So that's it. That was that was Rabhia was done for that. La Saif, Igloy Milsa, Rabhia knew about this. Yeah. So Amr Allah. If, if you would have just had another another uh, cars, another stomach full for me. Why? Because she had twins before. Mar said um, are, are my brothers. Or, no, I'm sorry, we're twin brothers. And Pazi Vitavi and Pazi and Tavi on Tom and Aleph now. Achvasa um, were sisters. Okay, so those were those. So Rabbi had two sets of twins, one boys and one girl. So he was Makai and Puravu. And then his wife um, drank the medication. So therefore, he was no longer he was no longer able to have kids. Now, what was interesting, if you remember from two blood ago, I don't know what to do with this, but Rabbi bought presents for his wife. So Ravid asked him, Why are you buying presents for her? She's not a good wife. He said, It's enough that they have our kids and save us from. From 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 Averis, right? So that's pretty wild because she had kids. She only had. I mean, he wanted more kids, right? She had the minimum. Well, not the minimum. She had two boys, two girls, but she could have had. She could have had uh, more kids, but and and but he still said, "I'm buying her presents because Lamaisa she had my kids, right?" And obviously she still was together with him because otherwise she wouldn't have to take uh, the samama sam of the thing. Okay. So Gemara says, Wait, This is woman, not considered a meredes. I, yeah, I didn't want to go down that road. The oh, Chayra, she sorry. can't do this without her husband's permission. This right? clearly was without it. So now, no, the question is, maybe <laughs> she's... Him. He just told her she's not Mechaim and Pruravu, but what about the husband? He maybe he should have said, you're not Mechaim and Pruravu, but maybe you have to ask your husband. Unless you say, I don't know, maybe she's not Mechuyiv in, in L'Sheves Yitzor, in the Dirabonon. Maybe she's not a Meredith for the Dirabonon. Wait, you're adding to this now that when she asked if she's Mechuyiv in Pruravu, she wanted to, she, she was asking him whether she can drink kosher liquor? Isn't that what was her, what was that, wasn't that the point of her question? Might have been the point, but she didn't ask it. She didn't ask it because, but she was asking if she's Mechuyiv in Pruravu. I mean, she stum asked it. She just had two sets of twins, and then she goes and asks. She didn't say that she had any kids. She's just asked the shayla. Is a woman chayiv? Oh, yeah. This is like the shayla, the rebarin, the tzal. They, they, the, the, the bathroom wanted to know if they could smoke with writing on the cigarettes, if they could smoke through the writing. They knew rebarin hated smoking. So they went to rebarin, they asked him, is it mutter if the, if the gas goes out? on the milkig ovens, the milkig stove, can we light from the fleshig stove with a newspaper? And instantly, Rebaran responded, how many times do I have to tell you you're not allowed to smoke? <laughs> they caught him. They caught him. <laughs> Very good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So let, let's see. Right? Are women not chayim and pruravu? Bomer of Acha Barav, Ketin Omer of Yitzchak, Maisa Beisha Achas, there was a woman she was a chazi, chazi right? Which means that she can't marry anybody, right? She can't. Except for um, an evidivri. What? Except for an evidivri, no? Um, yes, right. Very good. She can marry an evidivri. She can't marry a, a regular yid, and she a can't Jew, marry she an can't marry right. Right. Yeah. right. So, so the kafu was rabba v'saw baschayrin, and they forced her master to make her a baschayrin. So you see, why would they force the master to make a baschayr? It must be because she needs, she has a mitzvah to have kids. So my answer is no. No, it's a minig hefker. Meaning people, not a minig hefker, meaning they, people were dealing with her as hefker because she was nishtahin nishtaher. She wasn't free. She wasn't not free. So they say, you'll just sleep with this lady. There's no problem. Right? So they, they saw that happening. So they said, no, you got to free her so we could stop this uh, Stop this this mission gas, but does not mean that a woman is chayiv and pruravu, which is the way we paskin that a woman is not chayiv and pruravu. Yeah, fine. Hadron Allah habal yivimtoi l'chayim told us to make l'chayims. I'll crack open my seltzer. Um, 
Yeah, the yeah. vacation is L'chaim. over. Yeah, L'chaim. the vacation is over. These next few blocks, by the way, have to do with this week's parsha. And when we got, we deal with Avodim now for for quite a bunch of blocks. A lot, a lot of stuff about slaves, who owns them, who doesn't, and whatever. Okay, have yourselves a good night. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, third night in a row missing my Yeah. What was, was the point of switching to 835? Because I want to try and make the 930 my of a YFR. So, yeah. so you, want us, you want us to go later? No, I'm not sure. I thought that was the whole point, but I'm saying. <laughs> I know, I know, but these were long blocks. And yeah, they every, long every block. time I miss, I listen in the morning on the, way to, on the way to work. I look, I go to the YouTube, I'm like, okay, I'll see like 45 minutes. Hour and four, hour and seven. I know. What's going on here? I'm sorry. Like, this, this block, it's going to get shorter now because the harder Gemaras are shorter. <laughs> because you, they didn't you, you, didn't make you it understand it, you just go through it. <laughs> Correct, exactly. You didn't <laughs> make a Chazaka tonight? Or Chazaka that I missed it? Yeah. I Truth mean, is, two I or three. I, I decided to be Erlich. I could have run across the street and made the Shemayn Esrei. I could have. But instead, I'll go walk to Sulit soon. But they don't, have, they don't have 10 o'clock anymore, wi for no, they mamish messed me up pretty much when they started the daf. They knocked at 9 30, my they went from 10 to 9 30. So Shay Yashif, no, went from 9 45 to 10, right? That's and why afar went from 10 to 9 30. My mazza, what should I tell you? Oh, well. All right, what can you do? Tiago, can I see a shayla? Yeah, should we get one of us? Them? Is one allowed to watch professional bull riding? Why not? I don't know. Tsar Bal Chaim, maybe. I don't know. It's Tsar Bal Chaim? I don't they know. Tie up the Batesen. Yeah. You're I'm saying there's an, Isser, there's an Isser, there's an Isser, an Isser to watch, watch Tsar Bal Chaim? I'm, I'm not the rabbi, you know. Even, even, if, not. even if the Hamodia thinks I am, I'm not. I'm not the rabbi. I should post that on the chat and really embarrass. No, <laughs> it's enough. It's enough busha that it exists. I don't need the busha of it. <laughs> there you go. Um, okay, so if, if one is allowed to, is one allowed to go on Cholamite Sukkis or Hashanah Rabbah? Ask Dave Winselberg. Where? Why do you think I'm asking? <laughs> you know where this is coming from. <laughs> Um, on Hashanah Rabbah, I wouldn't go just because Hashanah Rabbah is a holy day, especially the Hasidic Yid like you. Okay. But the Cholamayid, I don't. I would take my kids. Weird. But, but, I, I, would, I, I, I would definitely drive my kids there. Matzah Shabbos, Matzah Shabbos, Hashanah Rabbah is Sunday, so Matzah Shabbos is out then, right? I right, listen. Hashanah Rabbah is supposed to be a holy day. You tell me whether you want to spend it by bull riding. No, 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 no. I take, I take it. I take that. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, right. Good, good enough for me. How are you preparing for sukkahs already? It's Listen, bull riding is tomorrow. very popular. You got to get tickets in advance, Garrison, or you're going to miss out. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Wow. At Those least hicks, you know, they that. love that stuff. What? Yeah. So. Okay, no, we'll find something else to do. It's the only, it's only that weekend, game. and that's it. It's that weekend, yeah. It's it's Friday night, Matzah Shabbos, and then Sunday afternoon. I hear you. So it's yeah. Sunday afternoon, Mitzvah Yom you, you work in the morning and, and the holiness. Listen, sitting around doing nothing is worse. So, oh, uh, we'll find something to do productive. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right thank you. Okay. Fine. Okay. All right. Oh, oh, Gershon, I knew this on Punkt I was yeah. learning Baba Kama today, and it brings the same Gemara as Venucha Yoimar. The yeah. same Gemara we had yesterday. Toysus and Baba Kama says, he said 20 million. He brings a gear so that it was 20 million, the Shrina. Yeah. yeah. 20. You said 20, you said 40. I said 40, but I don't know. 20 million would be, would be, Ah, because if you say that, yeah, so the truth is, I was wondering that last night. 
because if it's going on the alafim, you don't mm-hmm. necessarily have alafim mir rabim shnayim, because it's just right. expressive of how many thousands. It's river voice alafim. So you already know how many. It's, te- it's 20,000 thousands. What do they do? I don't know. I hear. Okay, right. So, but anyways, Tyson says that's not a correct gear. Are they extra like. Well, you know it what? isn't because of our Gemara, but I don't know why. That's what right. the Taich would be. I'm sorry. I meant to say it for Robin that Yakasha was in Tysus and Boba Kama, but I forgot. No, no it's fine. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Anyway, it's okay. funny. I wanted to ask you tonight, actually. Talking about the the, the, the the one line of the Gemara, Enashar Nasimu Adat Shehidu Boishleishu Pa'amun. That yeah. Mishnah actually has a Machlaikus in it, but not not whether it's two or three. That Mishnah quotes the Machlaikus Remain Rabbi Yehuda and how many days it takes to make it. It's just socks. I have tons of socks, I think. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Yeah. At that mission of the, the Gemara quotes here, Ein Hashar Nasa Mu'a, that She'edu Bo'y Shleishu Pa'amim. Yeah, where does the Nisa? That mission is not Stam, it's not really a Stam Mishnah. Wait, something. That mission is a Machlechus from Meir Rabbi Yehuda, how many days it takes to make a, a Ha'adah. I just think it's interesting that, that in this Prat, this is not a Machlechus. So it's still called the Stam Mishnah. But really, how do you get a pair of shoes my size? I should wear an answer after pulling teeth. Okay. Apple's a I'm saying it's yeah. Uh, I hear it's technically it not a star Mishnah. It's Remeir. Right. But since no one is chaylik on this in this prat in that Mishnah, whether it takes two or three, as far as that's concerned, it's a star Mishnah, even though it's not a star Mishnah. Right. It's an interesting uh, uh, Maramakim, I guess. This Gemara. Yeah, I'm good. Idea. Interesting. I hear you. All right. Bye. Yeah. Okay. I get to know.